Good. Hello YouTube, it's us again, Hi. Ian and Jane, Hi. Uh, and this is our second or third show, of day six. We are losing... It might have been four, I don't know. I... We are losing the plot, that's it a bit. Uh, anyway, and it's quite late now because we were just about to we just dash back to do this in the hotel yeah, was... before going off to the last show of the day. Yeah, yeah. So it was a three, four... Uh, third. Oh, it's the third yeah, show, yeah. right. But we have actually been to see two, two shows, shows, since, shows since, then, since, then, since then. But not <laughs> at that time to film. So, so and we're off all, to another in ten minutes. And it's all a bit phonetic, so apologies. <laughs> it's just none of this makes sense. So <sighs> this was John Lloyd. Sorry, put my teeth back in. This was John Lloyd, Do You Know Who I Am? Now, if you don't know who John Lloyd is, he was the producer for Spitting Image. He was the man behind Blackadder, along with Rowan Atkinson and um, I can't remember, oh, Ben Elton wrote, didn't he? Yeah, he's done so. QI, he's done a whole host of things, not only for BBC, but for, you know, across, across television. Uh, but he's usually been the, one of the backroom boys, shall we say. No. And, um, do you, yeah, do you want to read a little, little yeah, bit of yeah, blur? Yeah, so it, gives so a it's, context, um, context. comes under event spoken word. Uh, a unique opportunity to ask the producer of QI, Spitting Image, Blackadder, anything you like, um, from the meaning of life to the contents of his log basket. Yeah. Expect no definitive mm, answers. Yeah. And what they did was they they went round while we, before we went in, asking people if they could uh, come up with a question. I couldn't think of anything at that point, but you managed to come up with what I thought was a great question. So, yes, my question was... Um, was there a reason why they changed the character of Edmund Blackadder from the first series to what he became in subsequent series? And, and what John's short answer, I mean, actually John gave a much more elaborate and longer answer. He gave answer, a long answer. Long answer actually, to it, but yeah. the short answer was, and it's used language when, because it was shit. Well, I was going to say rubbish. <laughs> but that's what that's what John okay. actually said. But <laughs> he went on to elaborate yeah, yeah. Um, about the reasons why yeah. the first series wasn't so good. Yeah. Uh, which you know, I. It and was, it was. It was. But it was. It was a full it, answer, yeah, and it was. It was and it was fascinating. Yeah. And actually, that was what was quite nice. Yeah. He, he, he came. He came out and did a few anecdotes first, and then. Then he got into the questions, and it was really, really lovely. Actually, it was great. I mean, I that right at the beginning, I, it wasn't a panic thing, but I just couldn't come up with a question. But actually, right at the end, uh, when he had gone through all of the questions that everybody had asked, um, I he said, "Is there anybody else who's got a question?" And I put my hand up, and I said, um, "Hi, John. Do you think the BBC is doomed?" Um, and I'm sure it was it was a quite a difficult question, and he and he, he, the short answer is that he 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 thinks that the BBC has to change, and we all agree with him on that. Yeah, yeah. Really, that that things th things you know we don't want to lose the BBC, but things have to change because they're almost stuck in a in in a different decade to some extent, you know. Mm -hmm. But but it was a it was a fantastic hour. Um, Went really really quickly. really quickly. You know, he it was funny. I mean, it was it was excellent, really. Yeah. And it's it's only on for a shortish run, so it's on it's on until the fifteenth. Fifteenth. Uh, There's no two for one days. So uh, tomorrow, which is the eighth and ninth, sorry, um, it's not going to it's not part of the two for one thing. Shall I just say how much it costs? Well, I've got it down as oh, being right. fifteen pounds. Oh, okay, that's fine. And it's at the Stand Newtown Theatre. Which is where all the comedy and the spo a lot of the spoken word stuff is, isn't um, it? So yeah, so that's venue seven. Yeah, uh, it's on at three forty in the afternoon for an hour. Actually, it says three twenty here. It says three forty. Oh well, in that case, then you might have to turn up a little bit earlier. Yeah. Um, it says three forty on the website, three twenty in the. In the. Um, yeah. But it did start at three forty today. It didn't did, it? didn't it? Did yeah. It? I wonder. Yeah. If, I wonder if it's different on different days. So I don't a, know. Yeah. They just pick a different day. They've just got one one time. Three forty. Yeah, yeah, I know. I picked yeah. two days. It's so I, I, th I think the fringe is wrong. Yeah, the, the, the paper, paper, paper version anyway. wrong. But it so, was it was a sort of gentle. It was, yeah. and if that sounds like your sort of thing, yeah. highly recommended. Um, but lots of interesting stories about people that you've heard of, yeah. 
Yeah. Um, he, yeah. he told some really nice stories about Rowan Atkinson about him yeah. being into cars more than yeah. more than emotion, and that was it, that, it was quite funny. Did you say how much it was? How much the price uh, was? Yeah, I said, oh, 15, said that. That's yeah, fine. fifteen pounds. Yeah. Um, how many stars? Um, I think a very strong three. Yeah, I would yeah. go for a strong three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a really nice hour. Very really. enjoyable. Very enjoyable, uh, and very watchable. Um, so if you if you fancy that, mm -hmm. give it a go. We're now dashing off to the last thing of the evening, yep. which will remain nameless. Yep. Um, and it's been nice to to bump. I will just say, oh, yes. it's been really nice to bump into people who've watched our stuff. Yeah. And it's it's, it's lovely. You know, and actually, on more than one occasion today, we've bumped into quite a few people. Um, somebody collared you, you were recognised, I was in the loo, weren't I? We well, came come, out, coming out of Megalith. Megalith. Yeah. And, um, and then... Are you? Are you? <laughs> and then, Jay. oh, you're famous. And we, we, we always say we're famous for about 30 seconds. Uh, but it's really but it's quite lovely. nice, actually. You know, we met somebody else going in to see Basil yeah. Brush. Yeah. Um, but we've had lots of chats, chats with people. people. And, and it's um, been lovely to actually so meet all you, you, you internet people out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's great. Great to... Meet so lots of other people who are so passionate about the fringe. Yeah, exactly. Great. Yeah, because that's what it's really about. Yeah. So, but thanks for that. So, um, see you soon for more. <laughs> yeah, bye. Yeah, before midnight. <laughs> bye bye. See you bye. later.